What's up everyone, it's Lens Addict here, and today I'm going to be running through some of the things and showing you some of the things you can do uh, to keep your car running safely and uh, to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, these are the kind of things you can do when you're just getting fuel. So this will be like your tire pressure, how to do it, and how to check what the right tire pressure is for your car. Uh, this will be, you know, the oil, this will be the coolant, the brake fluid, and a few other things. So let's get started. So one of the first things we're going to cover is tires, tire wear, and tire pressure. So for tire wear, there's indicators that you can look at. And with these indicators, once they become flush with each other, so you can feel them at the same level, your tires need replacing. These tires are new, so you can see there's quite a big gap. These are some tires that have worn down to the wear indicator and they are in need of replacement because they are illegal in Australia. <laughs> Maybe overseas it's not, but I would still get them replaced because if it rains, you will hide your plane pretty quickly on these kinds of tires. Now onto tire pressures. So here's how you find the correct tire pressure. It's usually on the door sill on the driver or passenger side. And if it's not there, it's sometimes in the fuel cap or the owner's manual of your car. Um, uh, you can then set it on one of these tire pressure or tire inflation or air compressors. Uh, so you've got to set the right pressure. So you click the plus or the minus until it matches the number that you're supposed to have it at. As you can see here, I overinflated, so I've set it back to 39 psi. And now I'm going to start filling out my tires. So you unscrew the cap and you put the inflation or the air compressor on the end and then you'll hear a beeping sound once it's done inflating so this tire was already at 40 or 39 so not much to do there I check my tire pressures a lot You might be thinking at this point that you've done all the tires in the car. Ah, but there's one tire you're forgetting. If your car has a spare tire, you should do that. So what we'll do is, um, after we've done this tire, we'll check on that placard again, and it says 60 psi. So what we'll do is we'll change the air pressure to 60 psi on the air compressor. So we'll do that now. So now we're done with the tyres, so we'll check some things underneath the engine bay. Another thing you can check is your coolant level. In this car, that's the line there, so it's pretty much right on where it should be. Uh, it also tells you to check the owner's manual. You can also check the brake fluid. It's a bit hard to tell in this car, to be honest. I can't tell if it's actually got brake fluid or not. You can also check your oil levels. So you'll need a cloth to wipe that off and check. So after using the cloth to wipe off the oil, you put it back in and then make sure you're on a level surface as well. And after putting it back in, uh, you just pull it back out. Don't uh, just give it a little sec and then um, have a look. So we'll see what the oil level's at. So we can see that it's right on where it should be, which is great.
So then we'll put it back into the engine. You don't leave it out, otherwise your oil will come out of the engine. <laughs> You can also check when your car needs servicing. Generally, it's right here. So I can see that it's just been serviced and it's got lots of time before it's due for its next service. If your car doesn't have a sticker, check the owner's manual, which is usually in the glove box. In this case, I can see mine was serviced and the next one is due. Uh, and that's what's gonna be done probably do that yourself engine oil and a filter just get underneath the car it's not that hard <laughs> this is not really essential but sometimes leaves get stuck here and if there's too many it can cause a fire so just remove them if they're there otherwise don't worry another area of things to look at which you don't have to check all the time but there's the fuses Sometimes if something breaks, you can reference what it is. Another thing that you can check, but you shouldn't have to if the car's being serviced on time, is the air filter, which is in here. Now in this car, I'm not actually gonna check it, but, because uh, I know that it's just been changed, but um, if you do, you usually have to undo screws and uh, it comes right out. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have a Holden Astra or any car really, uh, some of the things that your car might have that mine doesn't uh, is yours might have hydraulic power steering. This car has electric power steering, so there's no hydraulic fluid for that. Um, you can also, highly recommended, if you've bought a used car, uh, take it to a, a mechanic as well and get them to do a look over underneath. Often they'll do it for free or quite cheap. Uh, so, you know, looking above at everything is good, but there's things that you can't really check yourself very easily, like the brakes and just underneath the car, let's say there's like massive oil leaks, that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good day or afternoon or morning, and I'll see you all for the next one.